the fact that we're all um, just accepting all the changes in technology and we're not actually, you know, I, myself I'm seeing what the changes are but society in general is happy to pick up these devices and use them and uh, not really understand, you know, the implications of being tagged and geotagging and, and information that's being set about and, and, and where, where we're actually heading, the exponential four year cycle of things getting twice as powerful and half the size. So <clears throat> what, what I decided to do is that the, the, because the message was so loud and so clear, I decided to call it the silent poem because it's silently, ch things are changing and we're not, me and you may realise because we're, you know, we're, we're concerned and concentrating on, on the changes but the population in general doesn't, really, doesn't really, they're, they're watching telly, they, they haven't got a clue what's going on. So this is my silent poem. We're all living in the age of an electronic eye. A super spy, they're up in the sky. We are living in an age where we are electronically tagged, moved and motivated. Will we be the ones to see a plagued monetary fight to take flight into the night sky as if the slip of a trick of a figure just to cover up our eye? Google, this is my silent poem. And the answer to our question must surely be why. Should we go green in a mean, lean fighting machine, living the televised dream, only leaving behind what tomorrow will bring? No doubt it will be our kids' children's mess that we'll probably have to sort it out. This is my silent poem. It has no voice, it doesn't speak. But I can see you're listening as you take it all in. My silent poem wants to steal the electronic grin. As we each take home a tiny piece of time every day. Should we be restoring time? This will only be possible driven by time itself. Because time has the time like it has for millions and billions of years before. If I could stand on the edge of infinity, I'd look back, there'd be no such thing as reality. The sun would be so bright I can hardly see. My advice to you is whatever you do, don't follow me. Because I'm going to take this electronic eye. And I'm going to send it sailing into an electronic sea where chipped relics remain on the bottom, undiscovered by the very digital memory they created. Where a circle became a zero, which made a one with a two with the dots and the dashes, the beeps and the squeaks, the cave carvings that once foxed us all. Now we know they are what led mankind into the digital fall. The reality is the machine is programmed to understand you, sir, better than you understand yourself. The code that broke, the radio frequency wave that travels around the planet faster than I can say the words it takes forever. Because that's how long it's taken to get to this moment right now. It's taken millions and millions of years to get right here, right now. The silicon machine still needs you, but for how long? As the monkeys fall out of the trees and the trees fall out of the sky? The elephant once had a safe haven and a place to die. But we've got blocks of concrete and we've covered the sky. This is my silent poem. And with seven billion people on the planet, the message is try to remember not to forget you are one of the seven billion trying to live without regret what we leave for our children or did you forget my silent poem in your mind I don't think it's over yet nice yeah. nice like it like it like it